everyone, it's Frankie Lou. Oh, <laughs> it's Frankie Lou. And Angus. And we today we're going to do something super fun that we like to do every uh, year here on the homestead, and that's do a pond dip. Pond dip. The main reason we do that is to capture some tadpoles, which we will rear into little frogs that we'll release in, in our the greenhouse. In the greenhouse, yes. They like it there because there's lots of bugs. Yep. And lots of shady places and lots of plants and lots of humidity so it's a pretty great little paradise for for one of our little frogs we're kind of doing this also because the pond that's on our half of the property does tend to dry up and a lot right of, while the tadpoles are turning into frogs so yeah. they don't get the chance to turn into a frog before yeah it dries up and then they all die yeah, so this is one of the ways that we can actually help work with the wildlife around here, provide them with a little bit more of an environment. They benefit our garden immensely by having them around. We love them. And I enjoy watching all the little critters in our terrarium that we create for them. And I know that Angus does as well. And um, yeah, it's something we love doing every year. And we're going to show you the process of doing it and how yeah. we go about doing that. Here's Found the it. Yeah, pond dip. Here's the basic equipment that's required for the dipping portion. Butter so a long butterfly net. Yep. Well, long is preferred, about a meter. Um, a little water scoop so that you can check. Yep, what you, you can got. use anything yep. that's clear, like you can use a Tupperware container. Bucket. And a bucket. And <laughs> Angus likes to wear my, well, wear, wear some nice boots and I wear sandals. And here we go. Okay, so we're going to head over to the pond now and show you all what that's all about. And I hope that uh, you enjoy hey. it. All right, so here we are at our end of the pond. <laughs> We're gonna try to do this quickly because as you can see, Angus is already being eaten alive by the still water mosquitoes. And here we go. Okay. Try to dig up the brown a bit. Get some of those wood, those dragonfly nymphs. Okay, so we just did our pond dip and we retrieved a bucket of life. Doesn't look like much now, does it, Angus? Nope. But boy. A lot of mosquito larvae are crazy. Lots of stuff in there, and we're gonna now take, um, take some little mini dips inside there to show you guys what we got. Okay, as you can see, this is just one little scoop we took out of that bucket. There's a lot of life in our pond. We've got, obviously, lots of mosquito larvae moving around in there. Yay! <laughs> Not really. There's some water beetles. We have a couple of different nymphs in there as well for various things like uh, mayflies. And, and we're hoping we'll find a dragonfly larva because they're fantastic. They kind of look like tiny scorpions. They do kind of look like tiny scorpions. And how many... Mosquitoes can one dragonfly eat in a day, I guess. 100. Yeah, so we're hoping we got lots of those in our pond this year. Uh, so, um, this is one of our tadpoles right there. Um, he's one of the bigger ones, or she, we don't know, but um, it's one of the bigger ones. Uh, so that means we have two different kinds of species in our pond because there's a whole bunch of little ones. Or they're just um, uh, older. Okay, so this is where we're going to keep. Our... We have a 10 gallon tank. Mm -hmm. um, we put some water in there and then we let it sit for about three hours. Yep, so that we come to appropriate temperature. And now we're going to put the rest of this murky water in here as well. So that, and we'll refresh it daily when I'm watering my garden. We'll put a screen on top and a brick, <laughs> both to prevent our cat from figuring out what's in here, and yeah. also birds, because birds will come and eat our little tadpole friends in here. And we found that they develop quite nicely in here. Last year, how many, we, we had three develop into frogs that we put yeah. in. Yeah, the other ones that were still tadpoles, we put back into the pond. Yeah, so. This is, uh, this is, we found that this works really well because the house provides enough shade. Um, it's on the right side of the house for that. And we uh, get nice little froggies out of here. And it's really fun to watch the other animals in here. I can see there's a dragonfly nymph. There's lots of sea, the, some of those uh, 
pond fleas, uh, mosquito larvae, all sorts of fun things. So yes, we enjoy watching the growth, don't we Angus? Yeah. Yeah. So as you can see, we've created a nice little environment for our mosquito larva. Well, for not our yeah, the mosquito larva, but what we're, what we're hoping for is tadpoles yeah, in here. You can watch them grow. Yep, and we've got nice rock base for them. We've got some moss. We have some dead plant matter, which is what they'll eat at this point in their lives. Then they'll eat the mosquitoes. <laughs> yeah. We're, as the frogs develop, we'll actually make sure we put more rocks in here so that the froglets will be able to get out of the water because they start breathing air at that point and yeah it may look icky to you but to to a tadpole this is paradise because they actually have a better chance of maturing um, to full size in here than they do in the pond as the pond does have a tendency to dry out during the summer on our side so yep. this is one way to ensure that we can save some of these little guys um, for next year, we like to put them in our greenhouse as well, where they have a lovely little environment in there for them. Okay, okay well everyone, I hope that, uh, that you found that interesting. I know that we really love doing this every year. If you're interested in seeing uh, our little tadpoles develop into frogs, we will be doing another yep, one later. We'll create another video, hopefully. Um, and so subscribe to our channel. If you want to see that video. Yeah, when we're releasing the little frogs in the greenhouse, we'll make sure we make a video about that. As always, if you have any questions about life here on the homestead, leave a comment. Leave a comment and we'll be sure to get back to you. And as we always say, make sure you take this chance to grow together today. <laughs>